Hello, college is great. There's a lot of great things about it. So I'm gonna share with you my top 10 things that I think are great about college and my experience. These are pretty universal, I think. It's not just like about my college experience, but just in general, great things about college. Whether you are trying to consider going into college or if you are going into college and you just wanna know 10 great things about it, or if you just wanna concur with me or disagree with me, then watch the video and you can hear my thoughts about it. And just side note, if you have any questions at all about college or anything, you can leave them in the comments below or you can message me or at me on Twitter. I'll put the username, it's katiegolan98. And if I get enough questions, I will do a college Q&A. And if I don't, I will just answer your question personally on YouTube or Twitter or whatever. First off, and one of the main things that I think a lot of people think about when they hear the word college, is freedom. For a lot of people, it's the first time in your life that you are completely free of any sort of parental units around you all the time. Basically, you just have yourself to answer to a lot of the time. You don't have a parent or grandparent or just guardian in general to tell you what to do. This is mostly if you live on campus or you move away from home. If you're still living at home in college, then that's, that's a different thing. But for a lot of people, when you move away and you go off to college, that's your first real taste at freedom. You can sort of just go about your day, do as you please without having to answer to anyone or telling anyone where you're gonna go or what you're gonna be doing. You wanna go to McDonald's at two o'clock in the morning? You can do that. You don't have to answer to a parent or realize that, well, dang it, it's two o'clock in the morning, I can't leave my house. You can do whatever you want. Number two is also a freedom thing, and that is freedom of your classes and your major. Pretty much your entirety of your school life up until college has been decided for you what classes you're gonna have to take for the most part. I mean, some high schools allow electives and stuff, but for a majority of your classes, you had to do whatever the school requirement was for you to do. And yes, in college, there are general requirements that you have to meet, which is one of my biggest complaints about college is the amount of gen eds you have to take. But besides those, you get to choose all of your other classes. You get to choose what major you wanna do. You get to choose what minor you wanna do. You get to decide if you wanna double major, double minor. You get to decide if you wanna graduate early or on time or whatever. You get to decide if you want to take all morning classes or all night classes or whatever. You get to decide your own schedule. Pretty much everything besides the gen eds, you get to decide. And that's a really nice change of pace from high school. Number three is that you meet a ton of new people. If you lived in pretty much the same place your entire life up until college, you know probably everybody that you go to school with. You probably knew the names of almost everybody in your class. In college, that's completely different. You're going into an environment where you're meeting so many new people. You have the opportunity to make so many new friends and so many new connections. On one hand, that can be kind of scary and a downside of college is that you might be going into it not knowing anybody. But in the long term, once you've started to make friends, that's a really good thing in my opinion is you do get to meet so many new diverse people and you get to make so many new friendships. And even if you don't keep all of them, you at least get to experiment with a new group of people that you're not used to from high school or from middle school or whatever. Number four is that there are always things going on around campus. Whether it be school events, whether it be parties, whether it be sporting events, there's always something to do. Especially things like Welcome Week. There's, I think every university probably has a Welcome Week where they have events happening all the time that you get to go to and meet people and get to do things around campus and sort of learn your campus better. Once Welcome Week is over and you start going into the later months of the school year, there are still events that go on around campus all the time. You might not know about them, but if you keep updated on your school calendar, online then you will definitely be better in the know of what's happening and that way you get to see the different activities that your school is providing for you. My university can be kind of bad about advertising for what things are going on but we have something at my school it's like a film club type thing and students make films and then they show them to whoever shows up to the theater on our campus they will do a screening of the different student films and that's cool whether you're a film student or not it's interesting to see student made films at your university in sort of like a theater setting and that's something that's sort of unique to campuses and universities that's sort of fun to try out and then of course if you are into partying that's also an option there are generally a lot of parties that go on those are also 
pretty much always happening if you're into that kind of thing. Number five is that there's a club for everything. You play the banjo? You want to meet other people that play the banjo? There's probably a banjo club. You speak Klingon? There are probably other people on your campus that speak Klingon and also have a club for that. It offers a ton of different options for people to get involved in their school in some way and to meet other people that like the same things that they do. And if you're going into college not knowing what you want to do, not knowing what you want to major in or what you're interested in, clubs are a great way to sort of figure that out. A lot of clubs are sort of geared towards major type things like language clubs or journalism clubs or film clubs or English clubs, writing clubs. If you're thinking about maybe being an English major, you might want to look into some clubs that have to do with English. Try those out and see if you want to switch your major to English. It just allows you to try out so many different things and help you figure out what you want to do and if you already know what you want to do and what you want to major in then you get to do clubs that maybe relate to your major and get more in depth with that or maybe you get to try out some other stuff too just so you can maybe focus your classes on your major and then do some sort of fun clubs on the side. Number six is that you're going to be surrounded by people who have the same interests as you and that might be something that you didn't get to experience in high school before. That can be with your major, your minor, the clubs you join, if you're in Greek life, just whatever it is. You get to finally be surrounded by a lot of people who share a common interest with you. Depending on what the club is, if it's something that's sort of project oriented, you get to work together with a group of people to accomplish something that you all enjoy. And that's a nice feeling of unity and sort of just something that you wouldn't experience otherwise. And it's also a good way to make friends who have the same interests as you. Number seven might be kind of odd, but it is a perk of college and that is that you get a lot of free stuff. Not enough to counteract the expenses that you pay on tuition and so forth, but it is sort of nice to occasionally get a free cup, a free t-shirt, free sunglasses, free whatever that they're constantly handing out around universities, almost always with the university name on it. That one's sort of a smaller one, but it is, it's a nice little perk of college. Number eight kind of goes along with that one too, and that's student discounts. Being a college student, you're going to have a student ID, and that ID can get you a lot of discounts around town. Some places that don't even advertise that they give student discounts, you can ask the cashier a lot of times, hey, do you guys do student discounts? And they might, it never hurts to ask. So just being able to save little bits of money here and there. Again, doesn't counteract the expense of college because college is very expensive, but it is a nice perk of being able to just save money here and there simply because you're a college student. Number nine is that you are finally in an environment where you just get to focus on what you love to do. You get to do that and you get to learn a lot about it. By your junior, senior year of college, you are going to have figured out what you want major-wise. Whether that's taken you four years, five years, whatever, you will have figured it out by your junior and senior year. At that point, your gen eds are probably all going to be out of the way and you get to just focus on the classes that have to do with your major and your minor and you get to just learn all about what you came to college to learn about and what you want to do for the rest of your life. Just being able to learn so much information about something you're really passionate about in an environment surrounded by other people who are passionate about it is, I think it's just nice. If you hate learning, maybe, maybe that's not nice, but if you're in college, you probably like to learn, especially about something that you're interested in. And it's just nice to learn about something that you really like, and if it's sort of a hands-on type of university or a type of field, it can be nice to see your progress and how much you're getting better in your field. And that's a really nice thing, in my opinion. And number 10 is one of the basic main reasons why people do decide to go to college, which is the networking and connections that you make and the skills that you get to make it easier for you once you go out in the real world to get a job, get started on your career, and then be successful in that career. In college is when you are going to network with a lot of different people in your field, whether it be professors or just other students. Whether it be when you do internships at your university, you network with whoever you internship with. Those connections will help you once you get out of college. And then the other thing is the skills that you learn while getting your degree. Those are obviously going to help you get a job in the future and help you be successful at that job. I mean, that's pretty much the reason why people spend so much money in college is to be able to go out and be successful in their careers. And that's like the big thing about college. That's the main 
good thing about college is that you are going to be able to have a better opportunity and head start at being successful. Whether or not you're successful obviously depends on you, but the college degree really, really helps your chances. And that is my list. Those are the top 10 things that I think are great about college. If you're in college and I missed any, feel free to leave in the comments below things that you think are great about college or if you agree or disagree with me. Be sure to give this video a like if you did like it. You can also subscribe to me. I put out new videos every single Friday and I'm going to be putting out a bonus video next week about things that suck about college to give, you know, a nice sort of opposite to this video so you can see both sides of the coin but i do hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a great rest of your day bye guys